Hi guys, good evening and welcome you all in this webinar on artificial intelligence in advertising and inter entertainment industry. Uh, guys, uh, please note we'll wait for more five ten minutes as other participants are joining the webinar. So we'll wait for them and we'll start within five to ten minutes. Thank you. Uh, participants are requested to know that we'll start the webinar in five minutes. Uh, till the time, you can go and do uh, go and follow our social media platforms if you are yet to follow us. Also, you can check uh, or go and visit the blog which Chandra Shekhar Sir has shared. The link has been shared in the chat box, so you can use, visit and read the blog as well.
okay so we'll start now good evening to all uh, welcome you all in this ai webinar on artificial intelligence in advertising and entertainment industry the openai.dal.e moving ahead our event sponsor talking about our event sponsor so synergetics is india's one of a kind corporate learning solution company as you all know uh, we do provide uh, certification trainings as well as trainings on the solutions which are onboarding solution reskilling solution certification solution certification plus add on solution cloud adoption solution architecting solution practice playbook solution latest technology training solution and emerging technology training solution Today's webinar uh, is organized and handled by ATC community and sponsored by Synergetics and Microsoft. So our ATC communities are open to all. So we have emerging technology community for all. Then we have Azure Tech community Pune for Pune first. Then we have emerging technology community Surat and Azure Tech community Nagpur for Nagpur girls. Uh, you just need to install the meetup app on your phone to follow this communities. I will share the link in the chat box so you can go and follow this communities to get the updates about the meetups workshop which we do. Then code of conduct, please note no one is allowed to take the screenshot of the presentation and cannot do the screen recording while speaker is sharing his screen. Uh, this recording will be uploaded on our official YouTube channel. So make sure you follow our YouTube channel. YouTube channel link will be posted in the chat box for you all. Speaker for this webinar is Mr. Chandrasekhar Deshpande. He is an MCT Microsoft certified trainer and practice head. He has years of experience in delivering the trainings. Going ahead, you can see the synopsis and takeaway for this webinar. So this will be explained to you all in depth ahead in the session by the speaker. So do follow our social media platforms as well. I have shared the links in the chat box, so make sure you go and follow our social media platforms to get the relevant updates on the upcoming webinars and workshop which we do. Also, it's a request to all the participants to make sure you submit the feedback form by the end of this webinar. Thanks. That's all from my side. Over to you, CB, sir. Thanks, Shetali. Welcome, everybody, for this two hours uh, webinar on uh, OpenAI DAL E. Uh, uh, see, in this week, we are actually uh, uh, running a couple of ventures like conducting uh, you know, webinars and meetup on uh, open AI. And through those webinars and meetup, we try to bring uh, as many things uh, uh, as we can on uh, open AI. So open AI is a platform which has been recently launched and very new in the market and it has become uh, one of the most popular platform because of you know, any unbelievable and innovative ideas. OK, what it is bringing uh, for all of us. So we have seen chat GPT and we have seen how you know it can do. Uh, it can uh, write the text for us. On chat GPT, I have got one message. Let me quickly read it. Dal is not free for trying, right? Any free site similar to Dali? Dal E is free. I am using it free, but the only thing is, uh, you know, you have to register uh, to it. You have to uh, submit your profile, and thereby then they give you access. Although access is restricted, uh, for example, uh, the number of tokens those you can submit, you know, there is an upper cap on number of tokens those you submit, but otherwise, I haven't paid single penny till to the date and I'm using it. So today I will show you how, how we can use it. But it is uh, chat GPT credentials. No? 
I think chat GPT credentials will work there because I requested for open AI and I got all the services. So I don't know whether there is a separate set of credential for chat GPT only. I got it for you know, open AI and I am able to work on chat GPT. I am able to work on uh, Codex. I am able to work on chat, uh, sorry, open AI, Whisper. So all those things I am able to work on. So I think uh, the credentials what you have got uh, will work for even Dal E also, or otherwise, you can just request in case if it did not work, or in case if it does not work, you can uh, and request for uh, getting uh, another set of credentials. But without, I haven't paid even a single penny, and still I have got it. But again, would like to mention one thing maybe if you try to get uh, uh, the details or get access on uh, organizational level. In that case, perhaps those uh, uh, subscriptions are not freely available, but otherwise, for individual, uh, they are available. And for organization also, I think uh, for a stipulated period of time, those should be available as a free, because anyway, uh, you know, uh, they want this uh, platform to reach most of the people because uh, there are you know many places where this platform and its features can be used and uh, your existing applications can be augmented. Okay. So I'm sharing my screen and then we will start, uh, we will have some discussion on Dal E. Let me know whether my screen is visible to all of you. Is it visible? Do you hear me? Ah, OK, OK. Fine. So. I will not spend too much time in explaining you what exactly open AI is till to this date. You know, there had been a rigorous uh, uh, discussion on uh, open AI in uh, uh, webinars as well as in uh, meetup. OK, I will briefly cover that this open AI uh, is an American artificial intelligence research laboratory. You know, it had been uh, it, its intention was to uh, invent near and near things. Uh, for the benefit of humanity. And what they did there is, you know, they invented some of the things which are really uh, you know, astonishing. It conducts research with a declared intention of promoting and developing a friendly uh, AI. Okay, so what they have done is they are offering you two types of uh, uh, you know, deep learning models. Now, these models are not. Uh, uh, like a traditional deep learning models. Now, how they are different than traditional CNN and RNN models, that also I will explain to you. But there are two types of models they are offering. One set of model is a, a set of trained models. They are already giving you pre-trained models. And another set of model, um, uh, you know, which uh, uh, you can train uh, the way you want. So you can train the another set of model as per the need of your organization. So they are offering two types of models and their first model, you know, uh, 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 the first model you know, which they uh, trained on uh, images, which they trained on text processing, you know, that model, you know, you know uh, brought unbelievable uh, kind of concept to the people and people got astonished looking at uh, the responses of that model. Mission is to ensure that artificial general intelligence benefit for all humanity. Working on non profile service, these models initially they and their research initially they uh, kept as a freeware, but later when they realized that they are running out of funds, then they what they did is some of their research, then they uh, went into collaboration with the companies who can fund them. Like uh, you know, they went into collaboration with Azure, 
and some of the features they uh, developed uh, in coordination with Azure, and Azure also funded them for one uh, one year. Similarly, they are now uh, collaborating with other companies. OK, just for the sake of getting funds, uh, uh, because uh, you know they are working on these technologies since five, six years. And in this five, six years, uh, you know, uh, uh, ultimate team of spearheads they uh, created and that team, uh, you know, it's uh, working on uh, it was working on less salary, but now it is a time for them to earn bread and butter. OK, so uh, that's why now they are leading the funds. OpenAI Limited Partnership for Profit Subsidiary uh, uh, Corporation. Organization was founded by uh, founded in San Francisco by Greg Bockman, Brockman, Sam Altman. If you recall, uh, around 15, 20 uh, days ago, Sam Altman made a statement, and that statement, you know, was misunderstood by uh, media as well as uh, many of us. OK, but his uh, uh, intention was uh, different. Uh, he wanted to make out the point that that Indians are uh, doing a research and doing great inventions, but they are not able to do inventions staying in India. They have to go outside. They have to reach to US and retain and there in their laboratories, you know, they are able to do uh, this research. So looking at that statement, you know, uh, this US uh, uh, trip. I do see this US trip of um, uh, our Prime Minister Modi in the different angle. That uh, you know, whatever deal he is doing with a GE, I am not interested in it. But he is doing one deal of establishing research laboratories here in India. So, in order to establish research laboratories in, here in India, he needs uh, expertise from the US and he had a talk with the US to provide that expertise to us. Let me take a couple of names and thereby you will realize. Uh, see why this particular move is important. There is one Ashish Vaswani who invented one concept called as a transformer. He invented it in 2018. He invented one uh, concept called as a transformer and that transformer concept is a foundation for all these innovations in open AI. All the innovations in open AI are actually built uh, using that uh, transformer architecture. Similarly, when I when I talk about this uh, uh, open AI. Uh, open AI DAL that also uh, had been invented by uh, uh, one Indian and his team somewhere his name will appear late whenever I will go ahead. So in open AI space also there are many inventions uh, pioneer, pioneered by Indians, but they are working not in India, but outside India. So in case if this technology and uh, research uh, uh, facilities uh, are brought into India, that will benefit a lot to us, uh, I believe. Elon Musk was associated with this group earlier, but when Elon Musk tried to push his uh, uh, agenda in this group, like uh, you know, uh, uh, using these innovations in Tesla, uh, he's one of the ventures uh, uh, Tesla. So there, then it started conflicting with the interest of this group as well as the interest of uh, uh, Elon Musk with respect to uh, Tesla venture. Then he withdrew himself uh, from this group and. He remain only a uh, the member who can fund this group. So as on today, he is simply uh, uh, donating uh, the funds to the group. OK, but otherwise he does not have much say in how to use these innovations. <laughs> OK, there are many models available in open AI. So GPT model, DAL E model here. We will talk more on the DAL E model. OK, whisper. Embeddings. I have uh, written uh, and my colleagues have written, you know, blogs on many of these models. These blogs will be uh, published soon uh, on our Synergetics website. I have written two blogs on, uh, and those are published also on Open AI, as well as there is one more blog I got published on uh, uh, Synergetics website, and that blog is uh, on doing a comparison among uh, Chat GPT of Open AI, Bard of Google. 
as well as uh, right sonic sorry chat sonic of right sonic you know so i did a uh, comparison among these types the three types of tools okay and then i uh, brought to your notice which tool uh, is uh, you know uh, uh, good to use as on today so you can visit that blog uh, to know more about you know uh, that gpt uh, products available in the market okay so here we will talk about uh, um, dal e open ai has been powered by a diverse set of models with different prices and capabilities okay that is uh, a part of pricing uh, model you can visit open ai website and you can uh, come to know more on the pricing model okay whenever we talk about open ai you know there are some basic concepts and these basic concepts are applicable to all types of open ai services so what is api key what is prompt what is model what is token you know these are couple of things we need to understand before we go for any kind of service because one thing everybody to note that uh, all these models are prompt based now what do you mean by prompt prompt is actually a text see here the definition prompt is actually a text input which provides a kind of instruction okay and maybe with some more uh, uh, secondary instructions so instructions and secondary instructions an explicit description of what exactly do you want with a set of clear instructions okay that is called as a prompt so prompt is a you know natural language is statement but that statement you know should be precise but still elaborative to guide to open ai uh, what exactly your expectations are so you will fabricate this, this text okay and you will submit to uh, the open ai model accordingly open ai will use this text okay to create a response for you so in chat gpt there also you submit a prompt and you get a uh, the chat gpt response in dal e same thing okay in dal e also we will see how we submit a prompt and how does it respond to us but these are all prompt based models the transformer basically is a prompt based model it is a prompt based architecture which accept the text and then it re, uh, say relate that text to the response of the model or it it generates the response of the model taking into account every word in that text it analyzes that text and accordingly then it creates the response this prompt is designing of the prompt is extremely important and it is way of designing this prompt is a different for different models also means in case if you uh, try to apply a formula of designing prompt for one model that formula may not work for another model so there is a special study we call it the prompt engineering and we will be introducing you know prompt engineering uh, soon this study will bring Uh, for you, all nitty gritties of designing the prompt and what kind of prompt uh, you can design for what kind of model that that is what we are expecting in this uh, study. So prompt engineering is a separate area, but it is very important also. It is very lucrative also, extremely lucrative as on today because we have seen you know prompt engineering jobs are very few in the market, but they are extremely lucrative. That means they are earning. and uh, salaries in crores okay so uh, this whole model is uh, so input for this model is prompt okay and then what will be uh, the response that trained model has to generate it will generate that response taking into uh, account the analysis uh, of this text uh, prompt text okay so there are two types of models about which i already told you that uh, you know uh, pre trained models as well as uh, uh, raw models also okay and there are different tools available who are offering you uh, interface okay programmatic interface as well as uh, graphical interface 
to uh, train the model, to submit the data to the model, okay, and then test the trained, trained model. So those interfaces are also available. API is the key given to you to interact with the uh, model. Okay, so through the API, you can uh, you know interact with the model uh, programmatically also. Okay, as of now, you know Python is uh, available there to interact with the model, but there are a couple of other languages uh, getting uh, introduced. Okay, but whenever you want to uh, interact with the model, you have to use API key. You have to explicitly request for the key before you begin the interaction. You will have to go to OpenAI website and there you have to uh, raise the token of uh, as a request for uh, assigning uh, this open uh, sorry OpenAI key for you. Okay, within uh, three four days you will receive the key. Okay, and for that purpose you have to justify why do you want the key. One thing to please note, as we we will move ahead or by by this time you might have realized that uh, this technology uh, use of this technology comes with a responsibility and whoever wants to use this technology he has to show at most responsibility okay uh, for using this technology so uh, that's why this uh, these services are restricted okay and these services are, have been made available for uh, you know uh, to provide okay so uh, API key, once you get API key, it is a very big number. That uh, number you simply have to use in your and then you have to try with. <coughs> Whenever you submit a prompt, prompt is a natural language statement constructed. It is a statement constructed in natural language. In your free uh, language, you can construct a statement. What uh, it has to do is it has to tokenize this, this statement. Tokenize means it has to break uh, your statement into uh, meaningful words. Those are called as a tokens. The OpenAI model understands and processes text by breaking it down into tokens. Breaking it down into tokens, then establishing relationship between the words to analyze the meaning of the sentence. That's what it will have to do. But that is not the only thing. When I submit one prompt to it, okay, and after some time, if I submit another prompt to it, so it has to relate these two prompts. It has to relate these two prompts, okay, and accordingly create the response. There we call it as, you know, uh, 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 say, how old prompt it can relate. That is called as a dependence. How old prompt it can relate. Whether it can relate the prompt given now uh, with a prompt given, and uh, the uh, the earlier tenth prompt, what what it was given, what was given to, whether it can relate such prompts, you know, that also makes the sense. Okay, so uh, the the, the uh, say uh, success of this particular technology depends on how does it establish a dependency. Uh, among uh, the old prompts with a new prompt. So that is very interesting and that is extremely important. Uh, okay, that is one thing. And another thing is from the uh, sentence, you know, not only it should understand the meaning, but from the sentence, it should also understand emotions. And whenever it has to create the response, you know, that response also. You know, it should uh, be created keeping emotions uh, in mind. So while creating a response, it has to use or it has to choose the words you know, which should show the emotion of the given prompt. So creating the responses with respect to emotions, creating the responses with respect to dependencies, you know, all these things are extremely important and the success of the model uh, highly depend on uh, these things. Uh, while talking about this prompt, okay, uh, it is extremely important concept because these models, you know, there are many models to do your job, and mainly these models, you know, they uh, they are different with respect to their capacity of understanding 
number of tokens. Their capacities are different. So some models can understand many uh, uh, tokens, while some models cannot understand many tokens. So while choosing uh, the model, you, know, you have to decide or you have to. Uh, yes, you have. You must know how many tokens most probably you will keep giving to the model. OK, and accordingly uh, you have to choose the model. Uh, so these are a couple of uh, you know, a, a basic concepts. And in case if somebody has any question on this, OK, let me know, please, so that uh, so once it is understood, then I can uh, go ahead. Okay, Just check. I need credits to use DAL E. Mm. But those credits you need to train the model. If you are using or if you want to use the pre-trained models, it doesn't ask you for the credit. So that also you please verify. OK, and it is a bit obvious that, you know, they will ask you uh, for the credit in case if. <clears throat> More token is good for model to perform well. Yes, more tokens are good for the model, but that model should have capacity to process those many tokens. So you have to choose the model because in GPT, you know, there are multiple models. So there is a Babbage model, there is a Ada model. And uh, how are they different? They are different uh, as per their capacity to uh, deal with the number of tokens. OK, yes. Uh, here, how much limitation are there in tokens? Uh, as far as this DALI is, is, is concerned, uh, I will take you to that, but uh, you know this uh, GPT 3.5, GPT 4, GPT 4 specifically, you know, GPT 4 can take very large number of tokens. GPT-4 as of now is under preview. I mean to say it is not available uh, as a free, but it can take a, it can take very large number of tokens. But otherwise, there is a chart available of how many tokens, what kind of model uh, can process more effectively. There, there, it's a chart is available on the net. In my one of the blog also, I have added that chart. Okay, maybe in the my second blog on OpenAI, I have added that chart, part two. OK, so that also you can refer. Um, uh, but otherwise, this chart is available on the net also. Is it based on minutes? Minutes means time, you mean? Not based on time. No, no, not based on time. It is based on the number of uh, you know uh, tokens you are submitting as a part of the prompt. Number of tokens you are submitting as a part of the prompt. Tokens are words. You can, in brief, you can call them as a words, not characters. But you can consider them as a words. They are not exactly words also, but you have to, you know, uh, easily understand you can consider them as a words. OK, so here I think I have mentioned, see, for example, Hello is a word, so it can be a token by no Hamburg hamburger. You know, in this actually it will calculate three tokens. So ham it will separate because it has some meaning uh, with respect to ham. Per it will to, uh, pick up as a token and ger it will to, uh, pick pick up as a token. But mota mota say we will consider one word as a token. The text prompts. Uh, prompt and generated completion combined must be must be no more than models maximum context length. Every model has, has its own maximum context length. So uh, prompt should not be more than that. For most model, it is 2048 token in one prompt. Okay, 
but there are uh, uh, models who are offering you more number of tokens uh, they can accept more number of tokens also okay so tokens are not characters tokens are meaningful words okay and some sometimes it may break a bigger word uh, to create uh, you know, the sub words which are having some meaning okay. so are meaningful words so understanding the meaning of the word is one thing but linking in one word with another word to extract the meaning that is a different thing okay so in case if you already have worked on cnn and rnn there you might have uh, realized uh, that this uh, you know uh, linking of the words okay is possible there also now if it is possible there then what is this transformer transform is an alternative to cnn and rnn okay and why they are uh, say going with a transformer instead of going with the cnn and rnn the transformer has a very good ability to link very um, so word submitted long back also it has very good ability to establish dependencies among the word submitted long back also okay and on the, uh, on that front this transformer is far better than cnn and rnn so remember this open ai uh as well as uh, you know chat gpt uh, like arrangements they are not able to use cnn and rnn but they are using transformer so transformer uh, is a you know model which use a forward loop back uh, of uh, uh, neural network it is it uses forward forward loop back of neural network but it has a uh, good ability to establish dependencies or better ability to establish uh, dependencies huh. okay see the use cases now this dali is specifically uh, i will say it is really a boon for advertisement marketing and uh, publishing industry it is a boon for this industry Uh, see in publishing industry stock photos uh, mean uh, different types of photos you know it is a stock of different types of photos uh, which are not normal photos which you may not get uh, everywhere which are uncommon photos those are called as stock photos this stock photo has been made entirely by ai so see stock photo has been made entirely by ai you want to advertise a rifle okay gandal from lord of rings holding okay just uh, you know you want one celebrity holding some product and you can you know uh, make that celebrity to hold that product obviously here we definitely need a restriction that without the permission of the celebrity you know how we uh, we should not uh, create such images but with the due permission of the celebrity that uh, celebrity can be uh, made to hold Uh, the product okay uh, without that celebrity he uh, has done any photo shoot while holding that without uh, doing any photo shoot okay similarly cover pages uh, of the books okay artistic designs and then the in publishing industry writers and authors can also use it you know chat gpt can create uh kind of a text for you chat gpt can fabricate emails for you chat gpt can write a blogs for you uh, having said that i must say that the, the blogs which are published you know have been written by me and my uh, such colleagues you know don't be an impression that those that have been written by chat gpt but chat gpt can write a blog for you although the quality of those blogs may not be up to the mark okay as on today but i believe more and more these models will be trained will be capable of you know uh, creating their responses of high quality the writers and authors can use it to uh, create a initial draft of their thoughts and use this initial draft as a prompt to create images for comics 
you know we have to generate a prompt properly so that that model will realize our expectations clearly so many things very uh, very much depend on how do you create his prompt Stargazer is the first comics and graphic story storyteller uh, storyteller created by AI and interestingly best seller at this time on Amazon. It is available on Amazon. Okay, and hold uh, that book has been created. That comics has been created using artificial intelligence. Okay, I will. Uh, I also have tried to create it, although it is raw because I am using you know free subscription. But uh, as we will move ahead, I will tell you how I have generated generated a prompt, okay, and uh, how what kind of comics images it has created. In education, creating attractive graphics in textbooks, creating graphics for online study material, all these things are possible uh, using Verdal uh, E. In market industry. Printing image variations on products. No, I will come to this point a little later. Okay, but designing logos for the company. So for what that company is, and what are all your specific ex expectations in the logo? You know, in case if you can mention, it will try to create uh, logos for you. Okay, I will show you. I have submitted one prompt, and it has created a logo for me. That also I will. Show. It can create a newer and newer. Uh, uh, you know, designs for tattoo, sketching. It can design clothes also. Okay, interior designs. So there again, you will have to submit a prompt uh, 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 with a precise uh, set of words, but giving clear uh, meaning about your expectations. So interior design, facade design, product design, and a different 3D views for many things. You know, we can use this uh, dal A. Again, I repeat, okay, this I will say this technology is still is an incubation. Okay, so you understand the power of this technology and also you understand one more thing. That this technology is self learning. So more and more things whole world whenever is submitting to it, you know, this technology is continuously learning and you will find a difference that. It, um, uh, the uh, prompt which you gave yesterday and uh, response that you got on the same prompt yesterday, you know, is a different than the response on the same prompt what you will get today. And you will see that the response is further mature. So every day its majority is increasing. Okay. And I am strongly believing that within a year or so, you know, this technology will be very much mature. Architecting and designing. Novel ideas in simple and complex architecture of construction, you know, product, product architecture designing, product facade designing, interior designing, you know, those things are also very much possible here. And in every area, you know, this technology is getting mature. Education, I already mentioned. Okay, data analyst, analyst. So no, data analyst also can ask it that. Data analyst may submit a prompt like, you know, if data analyst wants uh, bar chart to be created on the last year uh, sale per month. And then what that model has to do is that model has to, you know, identify appropriate uh, data source from where it will get the data and then it will generate the visuals accordingly and those visuals can be shown. So you simply have to submit exactly what you want. And that system has to you know, generate the uh, reports, generate the visuals for you. Image variations. OK, whenever you have limited number of images to train the model, for example, there is one product OK, uh, for which you want to train the model, but you have maybe say 10 images only. So from 10 images, if you want to make 50 images and if you want to do over sampling of the images, you know, that is also possible. Uh, through something called as a image variations. Image variations can be made possible. So if you submit 10 images to it, okay, and if you ask it to generate next set of 10 images, okay, adding a variation to every image, it will be able to do that. Okay, so we will see how uh, image variations can be done. 
So those are all, all use cases. Now let us see what exactly DAL E is. But before I go ahead, let me just check. Have I received any question? Can we say that is this look alike and uh, escape bigger issues? Will celebrity see us? Obviously, celebrity will see us. So uh, there again, that's why they have added restrictions there. No? Uh, one more thing I would like to add here. See, they designed one system. And that system used to create music for you. There are no musicians at the another age. But you simply have to uh, tell it, you know, jazz music with a slow pace and whatever other things if you want to add there. That system used to create a music for you. Now they have completely banned that, that product because somehow you, go, you know, the same thing. Again, you know, uh, uh, musicians definitely, uh, they do not want this thing to happen. So this thing will come uh, in future, but as of today, uh, it is not there. So music, uh, music boxes and other things, so even as of now, there is uh, a uh, research on that uh, got stopped because somewhere uh, the same legal issues. Yes, if any chance to stop the reverse engineering, sometimes user will ask to reverse engineering. No, I haven't got this, Raghav. What does it mean? Any chance to stop reverse engineering? Sometimes user will ask to reverse engineering. No, I haven't, uh, I haven't got its meaning. Please elaborate. Will we also try mid journey? No, no, we are not going to try mid journey. Although in my notes, uh, it's a reference is appearing somewhere. Okay, but otherwise we are not going to try mid journey. I will take you to open AI and I will take you to Azure open AI. Those two products we will uh, try to explore here. But otherwise in market, there are many, many products available. Okay. Yeah, going ahead. In chat GPT, when I ask to reverse engineering, it will give to complete information. Uh, to reverse engineering, it will give to complete information. You mean it will do reverse engineering for you? Will it help you for reverse engineering? Is that what you mean? Reverse engineering of something? Oh, yes, yes. So uh, see what is happening. Let me tell you. Now, slowly world is realizing uh, so one by one, which features should be uh, restricted and what your features available till yesterday. Now we can see those uh, features are being restricted. OK, so uh, this technology, they want uh, to follow re responsible, responsible AI uh, guidelines. And this technology is uh, available for those who are following responsible AI guidelines. So you have to give the commitment before you use this technology that you will use it responsibly. That commitment you have to give. So reverse engineering as of now, it may be giving you some inputs. How, many, how much those inputs are correct that we don't know. Okay, but in case if it starts giving us correct input, in that case, then we will see that this will also be Restricted. Yeah. So it can generate unique and original images. Original images is important huh? based on textual description. So you may ask it the image which perhaps is not available on the net. So it is not that uh, it is searching for an image, uh, prepared image on the net, but it understand the meaning of the sentence and accordingly then it tries to create image for you. Here you observe, uh, uh, say when I gave the prompt uh, to show or create an image of an astronaut riding on the horse on the moon surface, you know, it did create this kind of image. In the many such kind of images we can ask it to generate. 
like an artist who understand instructions and create a completely new picture applying his or her innovation you ask uh, the artist exactly what kind of image uh, an artist should paint paint for you okay and it will do then e somebody says it is a long form of distributed architecture for language encoded exploration okay so that is its long form but you know that is not the only meaning of dal e what uh, open ai did is open ai uh, uh, says that uh, they have named this product okay in the name of the artist uh, salvador dali okay and it's a long form is also distributed architecture for language it was announced in january 2021 and dal e2 next version has got announced recently in april so just 2 3 months are over Frame, framework has been published under open ai by aditya ramesh and his team so aditya ramesh did work on this product and uh, uh, aditya ramesh and team designed his product Huh. Okay, so including stable diffusion and mid journey, similar technologies. So yes, it uh, down the line it uses stable uh, diffusion. Stable diffusion basically uh, establish uh, relationship among the uh, tokens, and mid journey is also a kind of a technology which is being used here. Okay, so uh, Dal E uh, has been uh, created using. stable diffusion mainly stable diffusion is can be used uh, you know, uh, at the top of transformer so basic building block is transformer here that is to be noted everybody to know that okay there is a zero shot one shot uh, multi shot prompts this is uh, or these are you know, uh, concepts of prompt design zero shot one shot multi shot just for your knowledge here in dal e it does not take one shot or multi shot prompt it takes a zero shot so zero shot takes to image generation what exactly you want that you will mention there okay you will not give some examples okay so you cannot uh, submit uh, the images here that it should generate similar images okay so so zero shot is allowed one shot or multi shot is not allowed transformers is all the attention we need uh, right now uh, right now in uh, 2018 uh, there was one paper published okay and its name was all the attention we need right now the name of the paper was all the attention we need right now that was the name of that paper that paper was published by vaswani and his team was name i think ashish vaswani and his team and that paper brought the concept of transformer for the first time and thereafter then whole world uh, went to be uh, gaga behind that transformer concept and then the first product got published in uh, 2021 then in 2022 every year you know newer and newer products are coming in uh, open ai space <clears throat> see here when i gave a prompt elephant in front of gateway of india along with a car beside you know it gave me this image so see here means i may want to do some advertise and for that you know i thought uh, there should be gateway of india uh, behind the car okay and uh, uh, just to show the sturdiness of that car i want to have an elephant beside said okay so i may want to have a specific kind of image and i can generate a prompt in that way and i can get the image generated okay there may be simple prompts also watercolor painting of an indian elephant there may be simple prompts like napoleon bonaparte riding a horse on the london street now here you know this is the london street so it identified Uh, the meaning of the london street it identified a horse it identified you know now i don't know whether this person is really napoleon bonaparte and he had it show me or in case if it shows me the face of the 
Napoleon Bonaparte, you know, Napoleon Bonaparte may come down and sue me. Okay, so better uh, the face should be hidden. But it has understood what exactly I want to see. See here, this is something I gave. Okay, Mahabharata characters, Krishna and Arjuna on uh, Karyat. So there, you know, I got this image. Again, I thought uh, uh, to ask it whether it can give me some ideas regarding uh, armchair. And, you know, I can ask it, you know, 10 different images of uh, a shape of armchair of the shape of uh, avocado. And here it gave me so this kind of armchair. I may ask it to generate kind of a visual. Okay, bar chart for sales of the year. And it did generate this image for me. Where these uh, bar charts, their heights are representing, uh, you know, uh, sales data of my company. So somewhere, you know, I have to uh, connect the model to the sales data, and I have to train the model, you know, uh, from the sales data, and it has to generate such images for me. Chin of Chirag holding. Now uh, I need to uh, correct this painting. Uh, Chirag holding, or Chin of Aladdin. Uh, holding a uh, McDonald burger in hand. I know the gin will not come and sue me. So that kind of, uh, you know, um, I can uh, I, I can get that kind of image uh, generated. A logo for ice cream company named Cool Cool. Some ice cream uh, outlet, if I want to open it, I want uh, it to generate a logo. It did generate two logos for me. This is one logo and this is another logo. So, you know, it can generate a logo also. And, uh, you know, you will like the responses of it depending on how rigorously that model has been trained. So, there is a steep competition among uh, these companies to, you know, offer you more and more trained models. So, there you can see the products introduced by OpenAI, products introduced by mm. other companies. So soon may we may see a product introduced by Google. Uh, that that product also will generate uh, such type of images. So there is a steep uh, competition among these different companies to offer you a better improved product. You may ask it to generate uh, tattoos and uh, Variations in tattoo design, interior design. I submit. I submitted, you know, some information. Now uh, one short prompt I have written, but otherwise I can submit more information on the look of the hall, how wide the hall is, um, and to which side the there is a door of the hall. Uh, what else I need in the hall? You know, I need a kind of a sofa. I need a kind of a what are all things I need there. Those things also I can mention and it can generate uh, interior uh, for that hall. I even tried uh, this kind of uh, prompt, haircut for Halloween party. And it did show me this kind of image. I asked it to generate multiple images for bull with the horns and it generated many such images. Variations. So, see in advertising, in marketing, in entertainment industry, not only this technology is a boon, but it is also a boon for other uh, roles and other uh, areas. Okay, and uh, that is really interesting to see uh, that tomorrow, if any uh, haircut salon keeps a board uh, in front of his uh, shop saying, a haircut will be done as per open AI. Okay, so I, I believe that day is not far away. I did give it a, a prompt, something like this. I gave it a story. Okay, create a comic images in sequence for. Then I gave it a story. A boy in the forest calling loudly all animals. All animals gather around it, uh, around him. All of them start dancing. But it started raining at the same time. And here I got a result. So it created a kind of a comic comics images for me. Okay, so it is a boy shouting 
uh, and uh, calling all the animals and uh, one by one animals started uh, gathering around him. OK, and then now this boy is not looking like uh, he's a dancing. OK, but uh, yes, something like that. So I know these figures are a bit raw. OK, uh, but I do expect that when I joined this profession, I was also uh, called it pass out, uh, pass out and I was not aware much of this industry, but now I am aware. So on the same line, this Dan E model are getting mature day by day. OK, and soon they will be able to create such comics uh, uh, stories for me in a better way. But this is the way, you know, I can design a prompt also. Okay, so such type of prompt can be designed. So for creativity, you can use it for entertainment. You can use it for advertisement. You can use it in education. You can use it. You can use it to draw art also. You can use it to, uh, to do product designing also, fashion designing also, architecting also, so or many things you can use. <clears throat> so that's an overview of uh, this technology. You know, let us see. How does it work? Uh, sorry, here is a spelling mistake. It should have been natural language processing. I will correct it. So pardon me for that. OK, large language models. So natural language processing till to the date was possible through RNN. OK, but now. Uh, this transformer is making it possible. Diffusion processing, so stable diffusion, that's what we had it. Transformer neural network is at its heart. So transformer is a uh, basic building block here. DALI was built on uh, using the subset of GPT-3. Generative pre-trained transformers, GPT stands for. OK, so GPT uh, at the top of GPT now, now they have designed the DALI. OK, in GPT, GPT was uh, uh, using around 175 billion different parameters. OK, but then GPT 3.5 started using 12 billion parameters. So whenever number of parameters go down, the performance of the model increases. Performance of the model increase and its a resolution also increases. Okay, so it starts offering you better resolution. To evaluate DAL E performance, OpenAI initially built one more model, one more uh, model based on another technology, and it is con contractive language image pre training clip model. And then what they did is DAL E and clip, they compared on every front. And there they realized that performance of the DALI is amazing. OK, which was trained on 400 million labeled images and used it to analyze and compare with the results of DALI. And there they realized that DALI, uh, there is nothing like DALI. And then they decided to introduce DALI in the market. The image IP provides three methods for interacting with the images. So we will see uh, images IP also. Creating images from scratch, creating edits of the existing images. It means, you know, in the existing image, uh, for example, I show you uh, Gandalf's image, uh, and we put, uh, you know, one rifle in his hand. Okay, so Gandalf's image I submitted, and I asked uh, Dal E to show a uh, uh, rifle in his hand, and then the, uh, the rifle was shown in his hand. OK, so that is image editing. OK, and it can create a variations also. So uh, these three types of uh, APIs are available as of now. OK, and we will try to work uh, with all the you know, three APIs. Generations, image operations, endpoints allows you to create an original image 
be given a text prompt. Generated image can have size. Now here one thing to note that whenever it generates an image, that image must always be in uh, square form. Rectangle is not allowed, square form. So it either generates an image of 256 cross 256 or 512 cross 512 that way. Larger is the image, longer is the time it has to take uh, to generate it because you know it has to add a resolution there. Smaller size are faster to generate. You can request one to 10 images at a time using n parameter. So there is a n parameter. We will see how do we submit that n parameter. Okay, but the value of valued value of n is always in the range of 1 to 10. Okay, and it represents number of you know, uh, uh, variations to be generated. Edits. Uh, you can apply edits on the images also. That also I explained you just now. So that is the way you know DAL E works. Okay, that's how DAL E works. Comparison between DAL E and DAL E2. DAL E2 got introduced just uh, in the April. Okay, and uh, there are you know, major differences between DAL E and DAL E2. Okay, so these are all operational differences, uh, specifically with respect to performance, specifically with respect to resolution of the images, and specifically with respect to how clearly it understands and create more accurate image uh, matching to your expectations. Also, both DALI announced in January 2021, DAL E2 revealed in April 23, okay, models created by OpenAI. Difference lies in the number of parameters. Okay. Allowing DALI 2 to create even better images than DAL E. Okay, so DAL E uses 12 billion parameters while DAL E2 works on 3.5 billion parameters. So number of parameters are going down. That's why performance is increasing. Okay, and quality is also increasing. DAL E2 creates images of higher resolution. It can create a resolution. Uh, relationship. Also learn the relationship between the pictures and the text. Okay, that diffusion, uh, that relationship is established, dependency is established with the diffusion. So the diffusion model is more powerful in case of DAL E2. Okay, it can uh, you know expand the image also. It can expand the image also. For example, if, in case if you are submitting it a smaller image and you want it to expand the image, not to the higher resolution, but to expand the image with the ideas. Okay, so that is possible. That is called as the outpainting. So it will not increase the image size. I mean to say it will increase the image size, but it will add a couple of more things into new image. Those are not existing in earlier image. That is called as the outpainting. So DAL E2 is able to do outpainting also. DAL E was not able to do, but DAL E2 is able to do that thing. DAL E2 is more versatile and produces more realistic and accurate images than its precursor. Okay. So high performance. Possible customization, accessibility, extendability, iteration. All these are the advantages of DAL E. Okay, disadvantages may be copyright issue, and they are addressing this issue by providing restrictions. Okay, legitimacy of the legitimacy of the generated art, data set, realism, realism, context. Okay. And there are you know, other art generating product in the market. So Night Cafe, ZIMG, DPI, many such uh, products are available in the market. But here we will talk about uh, OpenAI. Okay, and uh, Azure OpenAI also. So we will talk more on OpenAI and Azure OpenAI. Let me see whether we have any. Uh, how DAL E deals with 120 million parameters? No, 12 million parameters. 
those who created ram and sita images used which model and data it made a cot instead of no it is not a cot is it a cot no no that is chariot only how a horse will pull the cot so it is chariot it is not a cot Okay. Sri Ram and Sita images used which model and data? I remember last month when I requested it, it created Sri Ram and Sita images. Okay, but now you know it is not able to create those images properly. So I don't know the reason. Uh, maybe some of the part you know they might have restricted. Okay, I mean that many parameters, no dimension reduction needed. So dimension reduction they are doing. No? No, they are doing a dimension reduction. And that's why earlier there were uh, 170 million parameters. Now uh, the count is going down. So as count is going down, bit obvious. That performance of the model is increased. <laughs> okay, so it is high time to come back to uh, uh, you know uh, under uh, getting more insight of how can we implement it. So here I have Visual Studio Code. And on this Visual Studio code, you know, here I am submitting OpenAI key. I am submitting OpenAI key. So there is the OpenAI API underscore key variable. That's what I am submitting. And uh, with that now, it will do the necessary authentication. Here you observe some necessary imports I am doing. Okay, so uh, for uh, making uh, these uh, packages available, I will have to install uh, OpenAI SDK in Python, okay, by using a pip command, and then I will get uh, so these inputs available. I wrote one method here, OpenAI dot image dot create, okay, and to that method, uh, no, sorry, I wrote one method here with the name draw image, okay, which will uh, receive either prompt, even the size also it can receive as a parameter here. And those uh, parametric values I am submitting to this create method. It, this method has to create an image, okay, uh, based on the given prompt. And once I get that uh, 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 response, you know, from that response, I will pull the image URL, okay, and here I am getting actual image. I am returning that image from here, okay, and then. I uh, see here uh, the return type of this uh, draw image is the response. OK, I am receiving that response here and I'm calling that draw image method. OK, and I am setting uh, some prompt for it. So photorealistic painting of a young couple in a, on a walk by a lake and in love. OK, so some some kind of text I make you uh, here and it drew and uh, uh, it drew a painting for me. It drew a printing for me. In case if instead of photorealistic, I want impressionist uh, printing there. Just it will draw printing in a different way. Yes, impressionist printing. So let me put all this all this code to run. So here. So method has been declared and now let me submit the prompt to it. And now it is generating the image on submission of those. See, API is very simple to work with. API is very simple to work with. Okay, and see, 
it had generated the image. And there I mentioned a walk by a lake and in love. So they are holding their hands together. Okay, and there is a lake besides it, and that is impressionist painting. I can ask it, uh, you know, I can give a different and different prompts to it, and I can get uh, many such images uh, generated. Okay, now here if I make value of n as a 2, see here, I'm making the value of n as a 2. Okay, uh, so I will ask you to generate two images. So I put it to, I declare that method. Okay, so what it will do, it will create a multiple images. Okay, but only one image I am bringing out. In that case, then I will have to, you know, uh, get uh, two images. I am putting it to run as of now. It will bring only one image, but when in case if I change the value of uh, that n, no, I am supposed to get more than one image. <clears throat> Here it is. And observe this time, you know, you have got a different image. So it's not a case that where if you keep a same prompt and it will give you same image. Every time it generates the image uh, from the scratch and you can see uh, different images every time. Now this image I got earlier, maybe today I will get it uh, in a different way. Okay, but before that, let me just make that n as one because I will have to change the code to see more than one images. Okay, that I will do later, not now. So I will make it one, but I can change the value of n to get more than one images. So I have asked it to uh, create an image. Okay, or see order. Maybe uh, see it. So it has to. Yes, I got a different image. I wanted to generate uh, an image of Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi delivering a speech in public. Let us see what kind of image it generates uh, today. But try to see how simple the API is. The API is very simple because here we are working with pre trained images. You know, there is a, a, sim a simple API that in that case also when you want to train uh, the images. Okay, and here it is. Photo realistic image. Let me add a word here. Photo realistic image of Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi delivering a speech in. Yes. You'll be spending for a man uh, reading a book. Man reading a book. Here you observe another uh, uh, prompt which I gave. Digital art, okay. This is cubist painting. Okay, so here I have to mention what kind of painting I need. Impre impression is painting, digital art. What kind of painting do I need? That I have to mention. Okay, so this is cubist painting. It doesn't look good. I can change that cubist work. Okay, but here you observe. Uh, digital art for an astronaut riding a horse on the moon. So why uh, you know, try to understand uh, in advertising, in uh, entertainment, uh, there may be some ideas in your mind and you want to generate images out of it. You know? So this is a good way to do that. Horse, what else I can ask it to ride? Maybe elephant. Now let me see. Does it create an image for me? <laughs> oh, 
it created an image you know, for elephant dolls. That is something amazing. Portrait of a dog dressed as a chef. Earlier it did create an image something like this. And I can uh, definitely see this dog is really looking cute in that chef uh, attire. Now let us see how does it create the image. In the meantime, let me just check. Have I received any question? So the data set is with Azure. We access it with API. Our images are as good as Azure data set. Uh, no, no, this is OpenAI I am using. This is OpenAI I am using. I will show you how we can work with, uh, with uh, Azure also. Okay, but as of now, I am using OpenAI. Okay. Schoolboy. Oh, wow. It is also looking really cute. Huh? Wow. Okay. Portrait of a cat wearing maybe Punjabi attire or uh, Maharashtrian attire. Rush attire. Oh, this is not Maharashtrian attire. So perhaps uh, you know that model hasn't been trained on Maharashtrian attire, so it doesn't know uh, what the Maharashtrian attire is. Okay, so I believe after uh, three, four months, perhaps it will show me a better image than this. Many such, uh, you know, ways are there uh, to give the prompt. Uh, that looks curious. Backlit, backlight years. Okay, a close up studio photographic portrait. Let me see. CME cat. OK, fine. So that's the way what it has designed. So anyway, such type of prompts can be uh, given. Once I get that image, in case if I want to write it to the uh, disk, that is also possible. And here, I can write that image to the disk. OK. Uh, I will bypass this image editing. OK, I will directly jump to image variations. Being a data engineer, sometimes you may have to uh, over sample your images. And for that purpose, this image variation is really very good uh, tool to go with. OK, here is one image I already have. Let me show you that image. <laughs> See, there is one cat. This is the power of cat. Okay, and there is one dog. You know, cat and dog both are looking at that power. Okay. Now I am submitting that image here. Create variation. And submitting that image here. And hereby again I can submit n to get n number of variations. And here, whatever variation it is giving, the very first variation I am trying to print. OK, so with that, now I'm putting this uh, code to run. And see the difference. Here, uh, picture is different. OK, and here picture is different. So you can see that difference that it just added some variation to the image. It just added some variation to the image. OK, and this image is different. So thereby you can create a number of images here uh, that way. OK, so that's how uh, you can work with uh, open AI. Now let me take you to uh, now here we are working with open AI through the code. You can 
work with OpenAI through the OpenAI portal also. But I would like to take you to the Azure portal for the same, uh, same purpose. So here I am opening Azure portal. Here it is. So this is my subscription. And on this subscription, I requested for requested Azure. You know, to allow me to use Azure Open AI service. Remember, I can create any other service, but for Azure Open AI, now they are not picking this service uh, in a uh, uh, privilege of creating the service to everybody. You have to request to them, and it took around a week or so uh, for me to uh, get the permission on that service. So I created uh, this service, Chandra Open AI. Okay, otherwise, you know, here is a way I can search for Open AI service. Here it is. Okay, so when I click here, I can ask it to create from here. So I got a privilege to create it. Okay, that way you can also get a privilege. Okay, and once you click on Open AI service, you will be taken to the overview page, and here you will see key and endpoints. Okay, here you can see uh, key also. Yes. Okay, so going back to the overview page. Going back to the overview page. Okay. Here you will have to click on this explore explorer. Okay, so that it will take you to the studio. So this is open AI studio. Here is open AI studio. On this open AI studio, see here chat playground, completion playground, and the Dal E playground. These options are available. As of now, you were you can create chat GPT. So the customized chat GPT models, but as of now, uh, customization of Dal E model has yet to come here in Azure. In OpenAI, you can create custom models, okay? But that feature uh, is yet to come into Azure AI Studio. But when either you click here or you click on the playground, play, say playground, it will take you to this page. Okay, here it will take you. And here then you can submit a different and different prompts and get the images created. So let me take you and show a couple of points, uh, the prompts here. See all these prompts I tried on uh, Azure Open AI. So elephant in front of gateway of India along with a car decides. So here is one prompt I gave Krishna and Arjun on chariot in Mahabharata. Okay, and I got uh, these images. Okay, now let's next uh, elephant in front of gateway of india in front of gateway of india along with white car let me submit okay and then it is generating an image for so maybe this image will be different than uh, the image what it created earlier but it is generating the image. And here also you can see how descent, you know, it has created images of Krishna and Arjuna on the chariot. Uh, you, somebody did ask me the question on what uh, uh, model uh, Arjuna or Rama image uh, were created. So what I remember is that those were created on Bard, Google's Bard. Okay, so it doesn't have you know ready uh, image for this. It has created that image, and that is its elegancy. I may ask it uh, to create a logo for ice cream parlor. parlor a logo for ice cream parlor parlor outlet okay. uh, selling natural flavors 
flavors. Okay, ice cream. Fine, let us see. <clears throat> Let me check with open AI studio also. Open AI Studio. Azure Open AI Studio. AI. Again. R E. Ah. Now, uh, please note. It is not showing me that I need to buy credits. It is not showing me that I need to buy credits. OK, I can upload images here and I can create uh, my own custom model. OK, but as of now, it is not showing me that I need to buy credits. So maybe uh, I have got it subscription in the way that you know I can try working on it. Krill. OK, I let me mention the name. Uh, outlet selling her with the name. Say. Some name. Uh, let us see. Natural papers, OK. So that's how you know I can get the images and uh, people from from uh, advertisement rule, people from uh, publishing rule can uh, get such images to design. <laughs> Whenever I am giving uh, some uh, some prompt to it, you know here. I can view the code also. And here you observe it has generated the code. OK, and this code also, you know, I will have to embed into my application or, and this code uh, can you know, uh, get a service. Uh, this service. Uh, Dal E service. Cool, cool. Cool, nal, cool. Now I don't know the meaning of this nal. OK, is it Punjabi word? I don't know. But yes, it has generated logo for me. And that is really, really cool <laughs> about Dal E. It is really cool about Dal. Okay. So I did uh, take you to the uh, code how you will work uh, in your development. I did uh, take you to Azure also. So many things. When you click generate, it will ask credits. I think uh, you try to register with the DAL. Okay. Now I don't remember uh, whether it did ask me for the permissions there. What kind of things I want to do? Okay, that I don't remember. But in case if uh, uh, it is giving me the least, what I want to do. You know, there I have to select the options carefully you know, so that I should get all the privileges. OK, similar kind of list of permissions was given to me when I requested to Azure for the same. And there, you know, I carefully selected that I want to have an access to DAL E, I want to have an access to chat GPT and also to the whisper. So there I gave appropriate selection and they took a really long time and that was uh, there was some exchange of information. They wanted uh, which company I am working in. They wanted to know, uh, uh, you know, web page of my company. So they wanted more and more information about my company. OK, and uh, when I submitted that information there after I got uh, access to Azure Open AI. 
there. Yes, so I try to bring many things for you in this uh, short uh, webinar okay, on Azure Open AI. Uh, uh, so, uh, you know, Synergetics is uh, launching many courses in this area, including courses on uh, from engineering also. Okay, and I believe, uh, uh, say, uh, these kinds of webinars are helping you out to get more and more information on technology. Okay, and it is a, a recommendation for everybody here to get up and ready on these technologies because, you know, lucrative jobs may be waiting for you in the market. So, uh, the demand for this technology is increasing, and uh, even Indian companies are also very much curious about uh, this technology. Okay, and everybody wants to become an early bird and introduce this technology, augment their products with this technology. Okay, so somehow you know demand of, for this technology is expected to uh, increase. Uh, so that's all from my side, and. Uh, you know, uh, just uh, go ahead with your questions, okay? And uh, anything else uh, in case if you can try dragons on Taj Mahal. Oh, that's a good dragons on Taj Mahal. Try. Uh, dragons on Taj Mahal. Let us see what it says. Mm. Somebody should not sue me as I may be, you know, harming to the heritage side. Okay. So my humble request to everybody here. What is this? Oh, I will try to generate another image. Just a minute. Taj Mahal. Taj Mahal. Agra. I doubt whether it is able to understand Taj Mahal. I don't think background is of the Taj Mahal. I don't think so. Oh, I think it is showing me the snippets of uh, these things are already carved out on the Taj Mahal, it seems. Perhaps, you know, that those dragons have already been carved out on the uh, Taj Mahal and those, uh, you know, things it is uh, showing to you, uh, showing to me, it seems. Let us see what it generates here. World wonder, it should know. Ah, uh, yes, yes. It is aware. I think this image is of uh, Taj Mahal, and these are also parts of the uh, Taj Mahal. But you know, somehow what it is showing is uh, carved dragons of the Taj Mahal. What it is showing. Okay. Is it dragon? I don't see it to be a dragon. Anyway, Lord Shiva taking selfie. <laughs> Let me try this. Lord Shiva taking taking selfie with Lord Krishna. 
Let us see. I agree that there may not be dragons carved out on the Taj Mahal, but uh, you know, somehow it is showing me images of like. Anyway, this is the only uh, prompt I will give. Huh? Hereafter, I will not give uh, prompts for uh, Hindu deities. Oh, no. There is a Lord Shiva. I think this is Lord Shiva as well as this is Lord Shiva. There is no Lord Krishna here. Anyway, okay, such type of rooms uh, are there. I repeat again, not everything. This is working better. Dragon sitting on the top of Taj Mahal. Okay, fine. Dragon sitting on the top of Taj Mahal. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, that's all in this session. You know, go with your questions and over to Chaitali. Yes, sir, I'm, I'm there. Uh, yeah, over to you now. OK, sir. Thank you. Here, uh, let I want to create an yes, image. Sir. OK, let, let us see whether it is able to create this image. Let us see. OK. Uh -huh. It's a world heritage site. So it is considering uh, not a dragon. It is uh, considering that what we will call it as a dragon. There is one species, a dragon. So that, that species it is considering. Yes, yes. OK. Yeah, yeah, yes, it sir. knows Lord Shiva. Yes, go ahead, uh, Manish. Yes. Uh, okay, sir. Uh, I want to sincerely thank you all of you for joining this webinar. Okay. Uh, any questions? No, no. Uh, yes, Sagar, uh, uh, Komodo dragon can be tried, but I think uh, now let us uh, wrap it up. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Enough pain. Oh, can I we can I can I proceed to... or uh, with uh, we are waiting for uh, uh, more questions? Uh, yes, Hello? I think. Uh, shall we wait for next two minutes? Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Maybe no somebody issues. trying to type the question. So let's wait for two yes. minutes. Yes. Okay. I'm audible, right, sir? Yeah, you are clearly audible. Okay, sir. Thank you. The session seems interesting, right? <laughs> the AI really likes working with the images and <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> the AI part is interesting, actually. We will, uh, oh, in our next session, definitely we will look into how to create a custom images. Okay. So I shall. Yeah, you can go yes. ahead. Uh, OK, sir. Thank you. OK, uh, thank you, uh, dear all, for joining this webinar. Your presence and participation have made this virtual gathering truly special. OK, uh, a special thank you uh, goes to our speaker, CB, sir. CB, sir, thank you very much uh, for sharing your knowledge and insight Welcome with us. Uh, OK, through this digital platform. <laughs> OK, uh, I also want uh, want to thank you, uh, want to acknowledge the hard work of the organizing team uh, in this making this uh, AI campaign uh, successful. Their attention uh, to detail ensure a smooth and engaging experience for uh, everyone involved. OK, uh, but the most importantly, <laughs> I want to thank you each and every part, everyone of you. Your excitement 
and your willingness to adopt the new adopt to a virtual format uh, have contributed to a success of this AI campaign. Most of our webinars are uh, virtual basis only. Okay. Uh, uh, we value your feedback uh, and uh, would greatly appreciate if you could take a moment and fill out the feedback form. Guys, please, your feedback is uh, valuable to us. So please uh, uh, fill the feedback form. I have already shared feedback form link in chat box. OK, your feedback is important to us uh, to see. Please help us to improve and deliver better experience in the future. Your input is invaluable and it will ensure us to tailor our events to the better meet your needs and expectations. OK, so please uh, fill the feedback form we, uh, before leaving. Uh, once again, thank you all for being a part of this online event and AI virtual bootcamp. Uh, this, this is the AI month. June month is AI month. Your presence have made a difference and we look forward to future opportunities to connect with us, connect with you. OK, thank you everyone. Thank you, CB sir. Thank, thanks once again. OK, so please uh, uh, don't forget to fill your uh, feedback form. OK, before leaving. I'm waiting for you, please. Uh, don't leave, leave before submitting your feedback form. Uh, so uh, thanks everybody. Uh, Manish, I will drop myself now. OK, sir. Thank you, sir. Amina, Amita, Ashwini, Kanan, Bhaskar, Gopinath, Krishna, Madhu, please fill, fill the feedback form. Radha, then Prasad, Ravi, Rupesh, Sagar Patil, Suresh, please fill, back, fill the feedback form before leaving. Yashwan, Yunus Patil, please fill the feedback form before leaving. It's a request. Uh, madam, uh, yes, uh, Yashwant, any question? Hello, Yashwant, you have any question? You raised your hand, right? Guys, we are uploading this uh, recording to our YouTube channel. If you want to listen this recording afterwards, you can I'm sharing uh, 
YouTube link of our, our channel. So please subscribe our YouTube channel. So you can stay tuned and updated with our upcoming sessions recording and videos on ETT technology. Emerging technology. I have shared a YouTube recording link also, so please. Uh, subscribe our channel so you can get notification. Uh, hi, Manish, this is Ashwan. Yes, Ashwan. Uh, I just wanted to ask uh, uh, this will be uploaded uh, in the YouTube, right? Yes, yes. And uh, moreover, uh, I just wanted to underst understand uh, this courses for uh, this. Uh, this is a training kind of thing or uh, something like uh, um, uh, something with like certification courses kind of thing. Uh, this is a training actually for chat GPT and open AI. Uh, sorry for open AI. There, there are training only. Uh, Microsoft uh, hasn't really uh, ha haven't really uh, released any course uh, certification on this particular topic. Actually, they are planning to release uh, course uh, certification exam certification exams, but uh, not yet released. OK, so okay. Uh, this energetics is the company which provides uh, this training course, right? It's a paid yes, course yes. We, or? Uh, we are pro uh, uh, provider. One second. Yes, it's a paid course course. OK. So On it's corporate completely... basis actually. Yes. On corporate basis. Yes. OK, so are you looking for individual basis or corporate basis? Corporate basis only, but uh, uh, you can contact my HR, right? Uh, I think so that uh, they can arrange for the everyone, right? It could yes, be yes, helped. sure. Sure, sure. Uh, okay, yes, uh, yes, we have uh, like given a slot in the feedback form where you can give your uh, learning managers details so we can connect with uh, them directly for you all. So we can arrange the more of like training or learning for you all according to your like, like we can customize according to your wheel, like the certifications which you want and we'll directly connect with them or uh, whatever you like give the details so make sure you submit the form so you can share the details over there okay, or sure. you can share on uh, info at synergetics hyphen india dot com okay sure sure manish okay yeah. the uh, uh, person name uh, his email id his or her email id and contact uh, number if possible okay, sure yeah okay so uh, our sales team can uh, reach out to your uh, hr OK, and moreover, just I wanted to ask uh, this course is for everyone or uh, only into the specific uh, fields like the people uh, who are into the background of AI or the software field or uh, the persons who are in the data science field. Uh, for. Uh, we. Uh... We have multiple courses like uh, for uh, developers, for data scientists, for data analysts, for uh, uh, security guys, for infra uh, structure. We have uh, many courses like this. OK, yeah. OK, uh, sure. if uh, if you want to uh, just connect with Chaitali, her number is there uh, in chat box. OK. You can okay, WhatsApp your query on uh, uh, her number. OK, sure. She will sure help much. you uh, to guide you. OK. OK, sure much. Thank you. OK, you're from which company, Yashwant? Sign, Sign Limited. Sign from uh, Bangalore? Oh, Hyderabad. Hyderabad, OK. Thank you. Thanks. Hello, Chaitanya, are you there? Yes, sir. Uh, you have uh, Yashwan's details, right? Uh, yes, yes. I will connect with him or uh, he can just like write a mail to me. I have shared the details in this ad box. So Yashwan, uh, if possible, you can write a mail to me so I can directly connect with your learning manager. Whatever details which you share with me so I can directly connect with the uh, person uh, who will guide you 
through the certifications or who can connect with us for the for the certification training uh, sure chaitati yeah yeah thank you thanks so guys before dropping off uh, please make sure you submit the feedback form the feedback form link has been mentioned in the chat box Also, the YouTube uh, channel link has been shared in the chat box. So the recording for this webinar will be shared over there. So you can access the recording on our official YouTube channel. So make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Okay, so I hope you all have submitted the feedback form by now. So we'll wind up this webinar. Thank you all. Have a great evening.